Hello everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to another doll customization video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing a character from Steven Universe. I'm not doing a character from Star vs. The Force of Evil. I'm doing my own original character that I designed. And I got the idea for this when I went to Disneyland last November and my favorite section of the park is Fantasyland. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make dolls based on all the different themed lands of Disneyland? And so, this is the result! And I think she turned out really cute. I hope you guys like her. I don't really expect this video to get a ton of views because it's an original character, but thank you to everyone who's watching, and don't worry, I am working on a Steven Universe character right now, so that video will be coming out fairly soon. And yeah, bye! Before I get into things, I wanted to show you my first design for the doll, and then my final sketch of it. I wanted her to be really cute and girly with many of the colors based on both the Sleeping Beauty castle and It's a Small World. Now on to the doll. I'm making the hair out of 100% acrylic white yarn. The white represents the white of the It's a Small World ride exterior and later I decided to add some gold to the hair to represent the gold as well. Cut pieces off and then unravel it separating the strands. Once you've got a nice big pile of unraveled yarn, get your rerouting tool. I made mine by gluing a cut needle into an X-Acto knife part. Push the strands into the holes in the head. Since the hair is so thick, I didn't have to poke it into every single hole. Once all the strands are in place, cut it to the length that you want and then lightly brush it to make it a bit more fluffy. Now for the face up. First remove the factory paint using 100% acetone nail polish remover. Dip a q-tip into the nail polish remover and then rub off the face. Then put nail polish remover on a paper towel and wipe the whole face. I'm using soft pastels for the blush. Take an X-Acto knife and cut some pigment off. Before starting on the face, make sure to spray Mr. Super Clear or some other kind of sealant onto the face. I'm using Faber-Castell watercolor pencils to draw on the face. By the way, I got the idea of these cheeks from the cheeks of the It's a Small World clock. Start with the light color when you're first beginning the face so that it's easier to erase. It's basically the equivalent of a sketch before the outline. Once everything looks good, add color. I'm going to use blue and pink for the eye color. Remember to spray the face with Mr. Super Clear or another sealant somewhat frequently. Also remember to wear a mask and do it in a ventilated area. Keep building up color and adding darker colors.
At this point, I realized that I wanted to add some strands of gold into her hair. I'm using embroidery floss. Then I braided her hair, which I think looks super cute. Seal the face one final time, and when it's dry, add little dots of white acrylic paint to the eyes. Later, I'll add gloss. On to the clothes. The pattern I'm using is the Rococo Hime Lolita pattern from DG Requiem on Etsy. I'm using blue and pink fabric to represent the colors of Sleeping Beauty's castle. Blue for the bodice and skirt and pink for the bodice insert, underskirt, and puff sleeves. Cut out all the pieces and then hem the top of the insert. Then pin the insert to the side bodices and sew. To make ruffles, I adjusted my sewing machine settings to a longer stitch. Make sure not to backstitch at the beginning or end so you can pull the thread and make the ruffles. Pin the cuffs to the sleeves and sew. Fold the cuff and glue it down. Make another ruffle at the top of the sleeve. Hand stitch the sleeves to the bodice and then go over it with a sewing machine stitch to secure it. Fold the bodice like this and sew. Here it is so far. I added some stuffing to the sleeves so that it's more puffy. Hem the bottom of the underskirt. Then sew down lace ruffle trim. I got this at the store at Daiso. Ruffle the top of the underskirt. Now for the skirts that go over. Hem one side of each one as well as the bottom. For the shiny sparkles like those that are on the castle, I'm using this gold sheet that can be ironed down onto fabric. Print out a sparkle outline and cut out the inside with an X-Acto knife. Then trace the pattern onto the gold sheet. Once there's a bunch of gold sparkles, iron them on. Then make ruffles at the top. Sew the skirts to the underskirt and then pin everything together. Sew the bodice to the skirt and also the back of the dress, but leave an opening for the velcro. Now add cute accessories to the front. For the mini mouse ears, take a headband from an Ever After High doll and cut off the accessory at the top. Make sure it's nice and flat, then glue fabric onto the headband. I'm using the same fabric I used for the sleeve cuffs. Here it is. It's okay that some of the blue shows through since it will be covered up. I'm using pom-poms for the ears. These are the same ones I used for the shoes of Pink Diamond and I thought they were the perfect shape. Glue a bow in the middle. I wanted more accessories so I picked out some gold ones. Add gloss varnish to the eyes and lips. I also added some false lashes. Then I wanted to add some glitter to her face, so I bought some chunky glitter at Michael's and glued some hearts and stars to the sides of her face. Now I'm going to decorate her hair. For the hair bands, I'm using something given to me by a family member. It's used for making fishing lures, I believe, but I love how sparkly and pink it is. Then I glued on various flower embellishments. I got these at Daiso. Thank you. 
all done! Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment what doll you'd like to see me make in the future! Bye!